This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by Freaking.com Well, like them or not, they're here. Presidential candidates. I had some questions made up for uh, John Kasich, but looks like I'm going to miss his event. So I'll just ask the questions to the bus, if I can remember them off the top of my head. On my way to the state house. Uh, let me think. Oh, uh, well. Oh, yes, Mr. Kasich. Uh, when the uh, U.S. government assisted the Croatian government in ethnically cleansing the Kraina, um, you were in power. You were in Congress, and uh, had a special relationship, I must assume, with the uh, Croatian government because of your ethnicity. Maybe I'm assuming too much, but what, if anything, did you do from your position of power to uh, mitigate the uh, expulsion of most Serbs from Croatia? I guess that's one thing I'd ask him. So, Carl Cameron from Fox News, the first really interesting face I've seen here at this uh, John Kasich event in Hooksit, New Hampshire, at the VFW, or maybe I should say the American Legion. I've actually heard very little about the Kasich campaign, but you'd never guess that from all the major mainstream press here, 30 minutes before the event. Unlike some events I've had the mispleasure of attending in presidential races, this one didn't try to make me sign anything or show ID or go through a metal detector. Just let me in. Are you guys with the campaign? The case of campaign? Yeah. Yeah. A question. Uh, do you guys have a PR person I could talk to? Yes. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Uh, people keep tripping on these, so I'm looking right here. All right, thanks. Just let me know when you got somebody. So it's already a respectable crowd about 20 minutes before he's scheduled to show. Of course. Oh, you don't have to pose, but yeah, there's a gentleman here handing out... Uh, well, what, what are you here representing? Uh, the Media Research Center. Mm -hmm. We're doing a Tell the Truth 2016 campaign. Our signs say, don't believe the local media. Well, I don't. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> Who does? What was that? It's something I'm going to ask Carl Cameron in there if I get a chance. Uh, there's this saying that uh, in America, uh, well, you know, foreigners at least know their media is controlled by the government, so they're at an advantage. Right. But I don't, I'm not sure Americans know that. <laughs> So. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say it's control. I definitely think there's some collusion, though. I think for certain stories. Oh, well, wasn't it William Colby who said this, this former CIA director said there was no one in the major media in, in, by the late 1990s or the mid 1990s who was not controlled by the CIA itself? I have no idea. Yep, that's what he said. I do. Um, I do know that a lot of the stories, um, when, one side of the story will be on the front cover. But then the opposing opinion will always be on like page seven, page eight, dip very deep within, or like deep within their website where you can't find it. Yeah, and that's what I like about Carl over there is that you know Fox News it, it provides a, a little bit of a balance to the CNN and the and the uh, the CBS that are almost all liberal. Yeah. You know, whether they're biased or not, at least they're a balance. Yeah, I mean I think the biggest problem is just the local media. Good luck, sign man. Uh, no, thank you. What, what exactly would you like people to do about? the media, normal uh, people. So we're just trying to let them know, about, it's like an informational campaign, to so let them know that the media is biased, and we do a lot of like media watchdog, like showing, like I said, how certain stories are put on the front page and other stories are put like in the, in the back of the yeah. paper, um, how certain stories are given more airtime so yeah. compared to other stories, uh, how certain people are covered, how certain stories are covered. Stuff like that. Right. So it's more of an informational campaign to make people aware um, about the bias in the media. Okay. And what's your name? My name's John. Okay, John. I'm Dave.
I did. Good to meet you. <laughs> I always got to give Bob oh, Dole handshakes, handshake. but you can't All give right. any right now, can you? <laughs> All right, thanks so much. Take care. Yeah, here's some more information. No, I can't. I, I'm uh, reluctant to take little flyers because my pockets get too full. Well, just information about who we are. It won't fit. I'm sorry. So, Governor Kasich's bus is already here. He looks like he's about 20 minutes early, to his credit. Well, ultimately, the bus went around back. So I don't know if uh, he's getting out of the bus back there or if there's a vehicle coming to this location. And to the empire for which it stands, one torture state under fraud, completely visible, lying and spying on all. And um, my grandfather died of black lung as he was losing his eyesight. Um, my uncles were with, they were all basically blue collar, hard working, most of them Democrats. And um, I grew up just outside of Pittsburgh. We never got tickets to go to the seal this year. All right, so you went in the back way. I got, it happens. Uh, the other question I was going to ask him, was uh governor if uh if we're to trust you against obamacare i mean you you've been helping the uh obamacare get implemented in in uh in oregon in, uh, in ohio you've been blocking attempts to uh stop obamacare so why should we trust you to stop obamacare at the national level all right that is all I had been hoping to ambush interview Carl Cameron, that Fox News guy that you saw in there. And the question I had for him was, uh, to what extent is the uh, media controlled by the authorities in the United States? Um, not a super hardball question, but I wish I'd gotten the chance to ask it. My body! My property! You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keen's advantages are compelling. For details, visit freekeen.com.